hello welcome to my channel anjali here and today i'm making a video to show you guys how to do heat embossing and also share some tips and tricks for when you want to do heat embossing on canvas so let's get started on the materials you'll need for heat embossing you will need embossing pens embossing powder cardstock paper or canvas scrap paper heat gun paper towel soft brush what makes heat embossing so fun and attractive is the dimension it adds to your artworks. It is done in three main steps which are A. Using embossing ink or pens to create the drawing or lettering. In this case, I have used it to create dimension for the Arabic calligraphy on the canvas. In this first step, make sure you have covered your drawing or lettering in completely with ink, otherwise the powder may not stick to the entire image. I sometimes go over the lettering with the embossing pen once again to make sure there is complete coverage. B. Covering up the ink with embossing powder. Add the powder all over the image and tap off the excess which you can later reuse. Clean the stray powder off with a brush. In the second step, add the powder as soon as you have inked before it dries. Tap off the excess powder onto the scrap paper. Make sure to brush away any stray powder so that when you heat the unwanted areas don't get embossed. C. And the final step is heating the powder with a heat gun to melt the powder to produce wonderful results. Before you start heating, give the heat tool 30 to 35 seconds to warm up in order to obtain even melting of the powder. Never use a blow dryer to heat emboss. You can also use this technique with stamps by using an embossing ink pad, like Versamark. Some tips for making this technique work better. Make sure you use flat paper. The more even the paper, the better results you get. Second, wipe the surface with a dry paper towel or embossing powder bag before you begin. This reduces friction, thereby reducing stickiness of the canvas or paper, preventing the embossing powder from sticking onto where unnecessary. 3. Brushing away excess powder. Use a soft brush around the embossed areas to keep the embossing neat and tidy. 4. Use a paper underneath the canvas to tap off excess powder back into the container. You can use any scrap paper that can be funneled to pour the excess powder back into the container. Now while embossing this piece, I realized that some areas were missing the powder. So after heating, I went back in with my embossing pen and repeated the whole process to get an even coverage. So that's all for today. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any doubts or questions regarding heat embossing, do comment them below and I'll try my best to answer them. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you already haven't. And follow my art page at the letters of an architect for more behind the scenes of my art. Thank you and have a great day.